when you're making a lot of programming updates and then loading them uh, out onto the EV3 brick, it can be annoying to be plugging and unplugging the USB cable that has to run between your laptop and the EV3 brick. This tutorial will teach you how to hook up the EV3 brick to communicate with your Mac laptop by Bluetooth. First, you want to set up the Bluetooth on your laptop. If you've never seen it before, this is what a Bluetooth symbol looks like. And you will check the upper toolbar in the upper right to see if you see that symbol. If that symbol is already there, you can just click on it to determine if your Bluetooth is on or off. This laptop, however, does not have a Bluetooth symbol currently in the toolbar. If you need to look elsewhere to get the Bluetooth turned on for the laptop, go over to the Apple in the upper left hand corner and you're going to go to System Preferences. So System Preferences Then you can look up here at View and just go to Bluetooth. Once you click on that, you can see if it is on or you can turn it off. And even more useful is you can click this little box and now it'll show up in the menu bar up top. The second step is going to be to set up the Bluetooth on the EV3 brick. So make sure that the green light is on for the brick. Then you're going to move over to the fourth tab right up here. Click, go down to where it says Bluetooth. and hit enter again. You want to make sure that both the visibility and the Bluetooth boxes are checked. If they are not, you can scroll up to them and you can toggle them on or off. Once you've made sure that they're both on, go down to the check mark and hit enter. The third main step is to connect the brick and the laptop communications to each other. So start by opening up the Lego Mindstorms app on the laptop. Once that has loaded and you have opened the project that you're working on, take a look down in the lower right corner. And this is where you're going to see a list of the bricks that it can see. Right now it says no brick is connected. But if we hit this little refresh button, it hopefully will spot our brick that we have turned on. Green light has to be on for it to see it. And sure enough, it sees it. We happen to have Wolfie here. So now you're going to go over and check the little Bluetooth box. And the first time that you connect a specific brick to a specific laptop, a screen will appear on the brick asking to connect. So if we have our screen up, okay looking to connect and it says that do we want to connect yes we do so we slide over and it gives us a pass key 
The default passkey is 1234, which is fine to use unless you need more security, such as at a tournament or something like that. So for your purposes at home, just go ahead and click the check mark. Now notice a box popped up on the laptop that wants the same passkey. So enter the same passkey, hit connect. Okay, sometimes you'll get an error message, okay? Because sometimes it has lost track of the brick. So just go ahead and go through that. Also, sometimes that tends to happen if you're going really slowly. So I'm going to go ahead again. But I'm going to go through faster. Okay. Check the box. Okay, so this time we had already gone through the pass key step. And so notice that it just went ahead and it connected directly to Wolfie because it was still storing that pass key information from before. So now Wolfie and the laptop are communicating. So anytime you want to run a program or um, upload the changes, you can just do it from the laptop and it will go right to the brick. Again, if it doesn't work to connect the first time, then go ahead and just try again and it eventually goes. Sometimes if it's really stubborn, go back into the brick, go back into the Bluetooth area and toggle the Bluetooth box on and off and come back out. Sometimes that magically does the trick.